sort of meaningful are you expecting tonight? No, obviously an intense game. Um, obviously, with uh, standings, we could play these guys in playoffs, and um, you want to start on the right foot against them, and uh, you know we could play them less than a week. So uh, we want to prepare ourselves uh, for this environment and for this type of uh, team, or most likely, or we'll see them play against. So, do you think it could make a big difference if if you do see these guys down the road in the playoffs? Um, I, I don't. I think we're up for the challenge for any team. I think when you get into playoffs, I, everyone changes. The desperation's the same whether you play. You know, either we play Boston or Florida. So um, again, we just want to have the same mindset if we're going in a playoff series to win. So it doesn't matter who we play. How do you change your approach for this? Trying to bring your best game, best game forward, but also avoid getting hurt. All those kind of things leading up to. Yeah, I think obviously. Um, I mean, it's my first year, so I don't really, you know, I just want to play hard every game. So uh, I think for me personally, I just know to go in and play hard and just play smart. Obviously. You know, we don't want to be running around, but we also want to play our game and stick to playing hard and, and doing the details right. So we just focus on that. How much talk is there of, of number 70 in the in the room? Is it like a, a pitcher who's on a, working on a perfect game, you leave him alone, or does it get talked about? What's uh, it? We're just going with our business. I think like he's going with his business. I don't think it's uh, obviously the media with him getting 70 such a big thing. It is a big thing, obviously, but we just go and play our game with him and, and just stick to our routines. Nothing's changed. Uh, we still have a game to win. We still have a... You know, to play the right way, and I'm um, I'm positive and sure that uh, or hopeful that he gets that. And um, yeah, it, I think we're all just playing our game too, right? We're not really focused on it. You know, he seems to find that every time anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Do you feel like the the mood within the team has changed? A, a maybe the weather, but also just knowing it's the end of the season and the big stuff is coming. Yeah, I mean, I, I would assume so. Obviously, like for me, it's my first time here in like Fort Lauderdale area. It's really nice. So, and um, you know, we. It's not really a bad place to finish uh, with the weather, but again, we have a we have a job to do, and tonight we want to start on the right foot against Florida, and again, we could potentially play them, so we want to start off right. What was it like packing for this trip? <laughs> <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah, you know, I had to pack a little more shorts than usual, so, um, you know, uh, we had to pack pretty heavy. Obviously, whether we go to Boston or Florida, we gotta, we're going to be on the road, so uh, just a lot of clothing and, and more than usual. Thanks. Thank yep. you, Nick. Thanks, Appreciate it. it. What sort of game are you expecting tonight? Oh, I expect a, a playoff type of game, you know, uh, it's an important game for them, it's an important game for us. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, a great game to watch and to play in, so pretty excited about it. What stands out about the Panthers? What's the biggest challenge you see for, from them? I mean, they're, they're a good team. They play hard, they play physical, uh, they hunt the puck really well, and they're just a hard team to play against. Uh, from there, we just have to focus on our game and try to be uh, as good as we can. What do you like about your team's defense? The the eight or nine guys that you've got going into the playoffs here, like you're all healthy, you're all big. What do you like about it? No, I mean we're, we're like you said, like we're, we're all big. We're trying to play physical. We're trying to play hard to play to play against, especially in those corners in front of in front of our net. Uh, from there, it's just up to us to, uh, to 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 play well and to defend well. How tough is uh, McCabe? Pretty tough. I mean, have you seen his face lately? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I mean he he's. He's a good guy too. Like he's really tough. He likes to play hard, and he plays that type of game that not many players play anymore. So uh, having him around, it's really, it's really nice. You he said up. playing hurt sometimes it's good for him. You get a little more pissed off. Like, yeah, do, yeah. do you see that? You know, as he yeah. gets. Well, sometimes I, I can see that he gets a little bit frustrated against right. other guys uh, from the other teams. So uh, that's right. good. Uh, it's, it just makes him uh, uh, a fierce uh, player. You know? How would you describe Florida's forecheck compared to other teams? Dump and chase. I don't know. Like it's just. Uh, I don't think it's different from other team. They just maybe do it better than other team. But when somebody takes a run at me, it's any kind of player is doing the same thing, right? So it's not much different. Does this game matter in terms of you might see these guys in the playoffs? Tonight, I just focus on tonight. I mean, there's nothing I can do or we can do about the coming future. We just have to focus on our game tonight, and we'll see from there. What were the playoffs like for you as a kid growing up? Like, what did you focus on? What did you? What did you were you a guy that watched every single game? Or, yeah, obviously I grew up in Montreal, right? So the playoffs were pretty special. Uh, you always watch them. You always uh, want to see your team winning the Stanley Cup. So uh, having a chance here to play for that cup, it's, uh, it's pretty it's pretty special. Was there any run in particular that you remember, like as, as a kid, that, that really stood out for you? The Habs. Um, I mean, the last time they won the cup, I think. Uh, was I even born? Uh, I think so. Yeah, you were born. I was born. No. <laughs> 93, here you go, no. Uh, so not really, but I know they had a couple of good years. Uh, the Halak. Yeah, the Halak years and stuff. So, I mean, I was still just a kid, so 
everything's special at that age. What do you think it's going to be like to being in your shoes now in a Canadian market, though, when, when it really ramps up next week? Uh, it's going to be pretty special. I'm pretty excited about it. Like I said, I'm focusing on tonight's game for now. Uh, but when the time comes, uh, I'll be ready. Thanks, Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Florida playing for something here tonight. What sort of game are, are you anticipating? I don't know. We'll see. You know, it's... Uh, Obviously, they're playing for something that's not totally in their hands. Um, it's still game 81, um, and both teams know that they're playing for something bigger uh, that's coming. But, uh, you know, f I'm not concerned about their group. I'm concerned about ours and, and my wanting to make sure that, uh, you know, we, we play with good habits and good structure and all the things that we've been talking about and really trying to tighten up. Uh, you know, as much as it's difficult to, to find the meaning in the game, you got to uh, uh, you got to button up your details and, and make that the purpose and the meaning that you that you can pull out of it. Does it make any difference that you might see them down the line here Saturday or round two or something like that? Well, it doesn't make a difference in terms of our mindset. Uh, you know, it's 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 game eighty one in that sense, and and uh, you know, in four days we're going to be likely starting. Uh, the playoffs and no matter who the opponent is you know what you know how our game needs to look and, and that's what we'd like to to see here today you know you're not it's not going to have the same emotion attached to it um but uh, the detail and structure and um the purpose within the game should should look uh, the way we want it to what's the strategy when you're coaching it against barkov when they have last change like how much do you try to get your top guys away or just just roll them and uh i mean in a game like today, you probably just roll them. You know, uh, you know when you get get into it, you yeah you, you, you uh, try to get some favorable spots for your guys. Yet this is a team that doesn't. I mean, as, as strong a player as Barkov is in matchups and Forsling and all of that, uh, they they play team defense, right? I mean, you know, they were often starting their fourth line without even thinking about it when we played them in the playoffs last year in the, in the defensive zone. They didn't care if Austin was coming out or not, and that just shows the trust and belief they have in their entire group. Um, so, you know, Barkov is certainly a strength of theirs uh, with the defensive play, but it's more so in their, their team play. How do you plan to deploy Austin and your top guys when it comes to minutes here tonight? I, I mean, relatively uh, normal, you know, in, in terms of playing to win the game. That's what we do. I mean, obviously, you'd like to see it closer to where it, where it has been over the last few weeks, you know, um, rather than where it was the other night. Yeah, but... Uh, you know, we're going to play the game, too. So, um, you know, we, every time you put your gear on, you're playing to win the game and respond accordingly. But obviously, you hope you don't have to stress your guys too much. Is there any kind of sense of a mood change among the players, either because of the good weather or because the playoffs are coming or because it's the end of the season? <laughs> like, is there a mood that's, that's associated with this time of year? I, I, I think guys are excited to get through these games and get going but uh, yeah anytime you come and see the sun it's a nice break for sure and um, that helps but yeah we got here last night and now we're here and you know I don't think it's really sunk in here quite yet but uh, certainly it's nice to look out the window and see that but uh, most importantly I think it's more that you know in the distance we can we can see the playoffs approaching and, and that's that is exciting for sure uh, yet you got these two games you got to play here it's an 82 game schedule so we got to complete it first I will tonight and what are you looking for from him in, in this start well Sammy's played a lot and by design over the last little bit and uh, this is a good opportunity for you know for Waller to get in and in a game on the road and gets a good team and uh, you know not much more to it than that thought on how Lilligren's looked back since he got, got back from injury? I liked his game the other night. Uh, I liked how he's looked in practice. He's moving really well. Um, you know, it's uh, another chance for him to increase the workload and get back into it here again tonight. But uh, just, you know, the you know, having him back, uh, it just changes the look for us, you know, with having another guy that can move the way he does and moves, move the puck the way that he can. So um, getting him back up to speed is important, and it was a good step the other night.